Hi, my name is Marlo and welcome to the Space Weather Report. Let's start with a quick overview of the events for April 18 through 24, 2012. There were no strong storms, but plenty of activity. No moderate or extreme class flares occurred. There were 10 recorded CMEs, six of which were Earth-directed. There was also a moderate geomagnetic storm, slightly larger than last week's. Now let's look at these events in detail, starting with the sun. Solar flare activity was at moderate levels again this week, with only common and background class flare events. This movie shows the CME events for this week. All of the recorded CMEs were C-type, which means their speed was between 500 kilometers per second and 1,000 kilometers per second. Of the six Earth-directed CMEs, three occurred within a two-day period. Let's see what happened when these events reached Earth. When a supersonic jet breaks the sound barrier in Earth's atmosphere, a shockwave forms in front of the plane. We can see a similar shockwave form in front of a CME as it moves through interplanetary space. This shows the shockwave from a CME impacting Earth's magnetic field, also called the magnetosphere. A shock was detected at Earth on April 23rd from a CME that occurred earlier in the week. This generated a moderate geomagnetic storm. The KP index, which is a measure from 0 to 9 of activity in the Earth's magnetic field, reached 6. This is a simulation of the Earth's magnetic field looking onto the planet. Note here the magnetopause, which is the boundary between the Earth's magnetic field and the solar wind's magnetic field. When the magnetosphere is impacted by a strong event like this shock, the boundary gets pushed toward Earth. This can cause problems for satellites. If the magnetopause gets pushed between them and the Earth, they will not be protected by the magnetosphere any longer. This simulation also shows the bow shock, which is a standing shock on the Earth's day side. After this event, KP returned to background levels. At the end of that day, the flank of another CME caused KP to increase again, this time to 5. Auroral events were reported. This movie shows the numbered active regions and their probability of flaring. The bar at the top shows that the total probability of a flare occurrence is about 25%. The solar and geomagnetic activity is expected to be at low to unsettled levels for the upcoming week. C-scored CMEs and background flares are expected. Thanks for watching. All of the data in this video is accessible from our integrated space weather analysis system located at iswa.gsfc.nasa.gov.